U.S. congressmen criticized Georgian PM. On Wednesday, the Georgian government published on their official Facebook page a letter from four U.S. congressmen addressed to Georgian Prime Minister Georgi Kakharia. In their letter, Congress members expressed their concern over politically motivated prosecutions, protracted Anaglia port project, and over Georgian dream using Facebook to spread anti-democratic and anti-Western sentiments. Critics of the Georgian government on Facebook, Twitter, and Tbilisi Forum were quick to notice pro-government outlets spinning the story again. Only four out of 430 35 members of Congress criticized Georgian democracy, pro-government post-TV channel wrote on Facebook. Only 4 out of 435, so everything's just fine, one Georgian Facebook user asked in response. Fortunately, four congressmen is not the same as the position of the USA. It's clear that they rely on biased, distorted information from Natsebi, United National Movement Party, another Georgian user wrote on Facebook. Justice Minister rebuffs criticism. This week, Justice Minister Tiat Ulukyani's statements at the parliament became the most debated topic among Georgians on social media. Ulukyani recently rejected public defender's critical report on the situation in Georgian prisons. She also scolded Ombudsman Nino Lomjaria for sending monitors to prison who, according to her, behaved arrogantly and dressed inappropriately. You can't send an employee to a prison wearing ripped jeans. Why should a representative of the public defender be wearing a Basque beret? Ulukyani wondered. Some on social media made fun of her stern views about dress code, while others got angry at her. Tsuluk Yani, Soviet vileness and abomination at their best, one wrote. Georgian ex-deputy defense minister and government critic Anna Dolize, among others, considered Tsuluk Yani's statements to be a deliberate distraction. Georgian ombudsman reported that criminal authorities and thieves in law have returned to Georgian prisons, collecting money from inmates and pressuring them. Justice Minister Tsuluk Yani responded with personal attacks and sarcasm. What a shame, Dolize tweeted on Wednesday. Soon after Tulkyani confronted Nino Lomjaria in the parliament, the Georgian public defender became a target of pro-government pages on Facebook. Georgian Dream Alliance of Patriots against MDI The ruling party in Georgia once again doubted the polls commissioned by the National Democratic Institute, calling the survey biased. The chair of Georgian Dream, Bidina Ivanishvili, ended up among the least popular politicians. After polls suggested a steady decline of trust in government and state institutions among Georgians, pro-government TV channel Imedi went after NDI and CRRC. Meanwhile, several pages and personal accounts on Facebook started an online challenge to find at least one Georgian among their contacts who had been surveyed by NDI. They insinuated that the public opinion service findings were not authentic. Irma Inashvili, leader of anti-liberal opposition group Alliance of Patriots, went even further, demanding NDI's director Laura Thornton to be investigated. Activities carried out by NDI and IRI PDC offices and their local partners have become our state security problem, Inashvili wrote on her Facebook page. On Wednesday, she also announced a protest rally in front of the U.S. Embassy in Tbilisi.